How's everybody doing? My name is Draganic and welcome back to a brand new video. We're back on Delworth RSPS with another from scratch, but a tier 15 weapon. I just wanted to go over a couple things before we did get into the video. But of course, with it being a realm video, if you just do colon colon YouTube, it's going to open up this page right here. This is where my videos are going to be, along with anybody else who makes content for the realm. As soon as you see my video through here, all you have to do is click watch. It'll open up in your URL. Once you comment your in-game name, you come back, hit collect. And then you'll get yourself a YouTube goodie bag, which has all kinds of stuff in it that you'll want, hopefully. But on top of that, you're also contributing to the YouTube boss. So every 10 comments, the YouTube boss will spawn. And he has all different kinds of drops from like 10 bonds, 50 bonds, 100 bonds. I think he has luxurious mystery boxes along with a couple more. We can actually go over and check the raid right now. So we come over here to the monster drop table. Just type in YouTube. We got Mr. YouTube Warriors. You see it's a 1 in 6 for Superb and Gobble. 1 in 6 for a tier 10. You're guaranteed a YouTube goodie bag every time. 1 in 33 for Minigame Mayhem, which is a useless box. Festive boxes, eh, it's kind of relevant. 50 Bond is good. Terrific boxes, garbage. Luxurious boxes, garbage. Well, actually, no, I take that back. Luxurious box can get you some pretty good Dungeon Dweller pieces. And then you got the 100 Bond, which has been increasingly buffed. Used to be at, like, I want to say, like, 133 drop rate, but they buffed it because I guess too many of them are coming into the game. It's a shame to see a good boss get nerfed, but I can see why. Also, did you guys know that I have a Discord? It's been laying dormant for a very long time, but we've just recently been trying to put people together. I think we're sitting at around 14 to 15 members right now. I'm not looking at this very second, but we're starting to grow it, and I think it's pretty cool. If you guys like to join my community so we can, like, hang out, I can interact with you guys, I'll have it down in the description and in the comments down below. So feel free to join it. I'd love to see you there. But of course, let's just get right into the video. As you can see, we're already here just fishing up some AoE. I meant to do this a few days ago just to stockpile it so we wouldn't have to come back here for a while. But uh, I kind of got distracted doing other things that uh, I never got around to doing it. So we're currently here right now. We have 2k Onyx AoE. It's probably the best one we can get. I think we're still rocking a decent bit of Dragonstone AoE. Because like doing the early stuff is not too, too bad. Okay, we got 300 here. Oh, okay, we're actually pretty low. Yeah, I mean, we're not doing too, too bad, right? Two and a half K. That should last us like a decent bit for what we want to do today. Um, Yeah, I don't know. We might stick around for three K, maybe do three and a half. And then we'll see what we're going to do regarding bosses. I think 4,000 should do our trick. Uh, Quickly, before we do work on our boss progression. As you can see, if I can spell. We come down here, 500 even magicians, which we just gotta do. Then it's any bosses, then run centristics. Firstly, though, I wanna see if there's any ocean or even any nemesis up on the POS. Hopefully, it's not. Okay, there's no nemesis. Any ocean? It's like 600k, but for what? Ranger body, ocean accumulator, ocean warrior. Ocean mage had pieces, 600k. It's pretty cheap. I think it, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the faux price is around that. Um, hmm. Is that all? Everything else is two fucking mil. Like, oh my God, like who the fuck would pay two mil for ocean? That is so ridiculous. And <laughs> ancient for a mil? Oh my God. Uh, what about the platinum boxes? Anybody selling those? It doesn't look like it. We bought one platinum mystery box for 440k. I just want to make sure I know what they're worth before we start busting these open so we don't end up blowing all of our money away. And of course, it was an ocean accumulator. So we got it for 440. Ah, yeah, so they dissolve for 450. All right, so we're good to buy a couple of these. And we got ourselves five more. Let's see what we get. Oh, there we go. So we'd like to see. We got the mage's cape. We got the mage's book. Warrior body, warrior gloves, warrior headpiece. There we go. Ocean Mage Body. So that's three pieces right now. We only have enough to buy two more boxes. So maybe we can get two more gear upgrades. First one being an Ocean Warrior Sword, which is no good. And another body. Honestly, with these three gear pieces we got right now, what's our damage go to? We got 1333, 1371, 1409, 1446. Yeah, those are some pretty huge fucking upgrades. So we can just dissolve our Ancient because we're not going to need it anymore. And that'll help us buy some Platinum boxes. Double mage body and a range body, unfortunate. And right, we got ourselves a couple pieces here. We got the ocean mage headpiece and the ocean mage gloves. So with those going on with our current gears, 1446, 1484, 1521. Fantastic. We're just missing the legs and the gloves. Or sorry, the legs and the boots. And then we're good to go. Oh, that was easy. Ocean mage boots right there. 
and another ocean mage helmet unfortunately so we'll just solve these and get some more and there you have it ocean mage rope skirt that was easy oh shit we end up getting two of them and with that last piece 1559 50 basically 1600 and honestly we look kind of drippy i'll take it well currently there is nobody selling instant tickets in a minute so we are going to be buying them i guess off myself so we're buying the 80 for 3.5 mil it's kind of crazy how expensive uh Instant tickets have gotten to as of lately, but we have ourselves 119 at the minute, and it should do us for what we plan to do. Well, there you have it. We can do 750 of any boss now. So, boss of choice, I think we're just gonna hang out with the Centurist Degarcher. See if we can get some gear drops and hopefully make some of our money back. Speaking of money, money! We just got ourselves some Centuristic gloves. It's a free 75k gimme gimme. I completely forgot the overload potions were a thing, but it shot our damage up to over 2k, so that's pretty good. Drop rate's looking alright, 344, 178, double drop rate. Hopefully we can pull some more pieces. Dry streak is what, 800? And this one, along with the actual progression, should be pretty good. So we gotta kill, yeah, another 300, and then we gotta kill a thousand more anyways, because of the centuristic achievement. That's pretty good. Oh, something just piqued my curiosity. We got achievements, we're opening up those platinum boxes and whatnot, so I'm wondering if they're actually gonna give us any boxes back. And they do. Okay. So we got some gold boxes and some platinum boxes. We just printed some fucking money. Money! I just end up grabbing these eight ocean pieces, which are pretty good. It's 450 a pop. What is that gonna put us up to? Okay, we're at 3.8 mil, and then we got 18 gold boxes. So we ripped these open too. Jesus, through all that, we're at 5.1 mil. That's pretty good, man. Fuck, we might have to go open up more plat boxes and see what the next achievement is. Okay, so it looks like the next one for this is opening up 250 gold boxes. You get another 50. Then opening 50 platinums, which we need one more, we'll get 10 more. So what the fuck? So we can just like print money doing this shit. Of course, we got nothing from our invasion keys, but our champion keys could land us a lovely statue. So let's pray to the RNG gods for that. And no, we get some double drop rate orbs. So we currently bought out all the gold boxes in the POS that, you know, make us some money. And we're just ripping these open at the minute. Jesus, okay, so now we're at 6.9 mil. There are some more mystery boxes in here, but they go for 75k each. So we're not going to be making any money on them, unfortunately. And there's 264. Let's just have a quick look at the achievement, actually. Ah, shit. So it looks like we would need them to get the 500 achievements. We need to get another 225. And it would give us 100 more boxes, which in turn, you know, would just be, what's that, like, free 7.5 million boxes right there? Fuck, we just might have to. Well, we just finished the achievement for the platinum boxes and we're gonna open up 100 more for 20 more. So let's just collect these real quick. 100, 250, and 50. And these boxes net us 70 more golds and 10 platinums for some more money. Well, fuck me. After everything's said and done, we have 34.5 mil. Just from opening boxes. What the fuck? Now it makes sense why everything is so expensive because the economy is so fucked. I didn't realize it was this bad. That's just from doing a couple of achievements. I just casually have almost 40 mil. Like, come on. Like, I'm even, I'm so close to getting the next platinum box one, which will give me another 50. Like, that's another, like, 25 mil. That's, oh, man, I don't, uh, I don't know. But it's crazy. We got a lot of money nonetheless. We'll probably get some gear upgrades out of it. And, uh, yeah, I'm just mind-boggled right now.